Hello friends and welcome to a lecture on operation research. Today we look into a transportation problem. We will solve this transportation problem using the row minima method. This is best explained by using an example. The example is on the screen. A dairy firm has three plants located in a state. Daily milk productions at each plant is as follows. Plant number one, it's 6 million liters. Plant number two, it's 1 million liter. And plant number three, it's 10 million liter. The demand from the distribution centers are from distribution center number one, it is 7 million liter. From distribution center number two, it is 5 million liter. Distribution center number three, it is 3 million liter. And distribution center number four, it is 2 million liter. The cost of supplying the milk to various distribution centers is on the table. If we want to supply milk from plant number one to distribution center number one, it's going to be 2000 rupees per million liters. If we wish to supply milk from plant number two to center number three, it's going to be 6000 rupees per million liters. All the entries in this table have the same meaning. Now, how to solve this using the row minima method? First, let us see what is the total supply. This is 17 million liters and the total demand is also 17 million liters. In optimization research, this is known as a balance problem. And in optimization research, one use needs to understand here that we can only solve balanced problems. So this is a balanced problem and we can go ahead with the solution. So for the solution, what we do is we copy down this table and write it this way. So I have copied down the table and to this table, on the right, I have introduced a column and at the bottom, I have introduced a row. In the rightmost column, we write down the supplies from the plant and in the bottommost column, we write down the demands at the distribution center. So let's do it now. Now, the supply from plant number one is 6 million liters. The supply from plant number 2 is 1 million litre and the supply from plant number 3 is 10 million litre. The demand in distribution centre number 1 is 7 million litre. The demand in distribution centre number 2 is 5 million litre. The demand in distribution centre number 3 is 3 million litre and the demand in distribution centre number 4 is 2 million litres. Now the idea of the row minima method is that we take the supply or we apportion the supply serially. That is first we take plant number one, then we take plant number two and then we take plant number three. So from plant number one, we have a supply of 6 million liters. Now this 6 million liters, we have to first apportion it to the minimum cost of supply. Now the minimum cost of supply here is 2. Now this is the cost of supply from plant number 1 to distribution center number 1. So all the 6 million liters we apportion it to distribution center number 1. Now the distribution center number 1 has a shortfall of 1 million liters. The plant number one supply has been exhausted, so we strike it off. Now we go to plant number two. Now the minimum cost of supply here is zero. This is the cost of supply from plant number two to distribution center number two. So we apportion this one million liter to distribution center number two. So therefore, now distribution center number two has a shortfall of 4 million liters and we strike off plant number two because 
we have exhausted the supplies from plant number two. Now let's go to plant number three. Now, as you can see here, it can supply 10 million liters. Now the least cost of supply is from plant number three to distribution center number one. But the shortfall in distribution center number one is only 1 million liters. So we just apportion 1 million liters to distribution center number one from plant number three. So now the supply from plant number three is only 9 million liters. Now we apportion from this 9 million liters 4 million liters to distribution center number 2 because this is the next higher cost of supply. Therefore, we have 5 million liters left in plant number 3. Now, the demand in distribution center number 3 is Therefore, we can apportion only 2 million liters to distribution center number 4. So, we are left with 3 million liters in the plant 3. Now, this 3 million liters is now apportioned to distribution center number 3. Therefore, the supply from plant number 3 is now exhausted. Now, as we can see now here that we have distributed all the supplies to all the demands. So, this is now zero, this is now zero, this is now zero. Now, let's see what is the cost. So, let's check the cost. The cost is going to be nothing but in rupees, that's thousand because it's in multiples of thousand rupee per million liters multiplied by 2 into 6 plus 0 into 1 plus 5 into 1 plus 8 into 4 plus 15 into 3 plus 9 into 2 which is now 1000 multiplied by 12 plus 5 plus 32 plus 45 plus 18. So 18 plus 12 makes it 30 and 45 plus 5 makes it 50 and 50 and 30 make it 80 and uh, 80 plus 32 makes it 1, 1, 2. Let's check it once again. So this is 50, this is 30 and that makes it 80. 80 plus 32. So that makes it 1, 1, 2. So that's one one two zero 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 rupees. So as we can see now that this cost is now way less than the cost we had found in the northwest corner method. In the northwest corner method, you can uh, the link for this video is on the top right of this video the cost was 116000 rupees for the entire operation now it is 112000 rupees so we have found a cost which is optimized further from the northwest corner method as discussed in the northwest corner method that it is only an optimization uh, it's not an optimization, it is only an algorithm for giving or supplying. It's only an algorithm for, you know, apportioning or what you can say as 
distributing the supply to the demand, but it doesn't really quite optimize the cost. Using the row minima method, you can optimize the cost. So this is demonstrated in this problem that row minima method has really optimized the cost. It has brought it down from 116 to 112. So that was all about how we use row minima method to solve a transportation problem. If you like this video, do like and subscribe my channel. Do like the video also. And uh, if you find it interesting, do send the link of this video to your friends so that they also can benefit from this. That was all about row minima method. Goodbye. Have a great day.